here I am trying to finish my grade book in Canvas and looks like Mother Nature does not want to cooperate with me. Well, I don't have any tips and tricks for Mother Nature, but I definitely have some tips and tricks while you're grading or using your grade book in Canvas. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I will be showing you how to change your grading scheme, how to add emojis to your grade book, how to change the colors of your status of your assignments, how to move your columns back and forth, and how to default your grades. Without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I wish I knew this before, so my grading would be so much easier. So much more cozier and comfortable inside my studio. So the first tip I want to share with you is how to change your grading scheme. Depending on your school grading policy, your college grading policy, you may want to go ahead and change that. My college does not have A minuses, pluses, so I just want to keep it to A, B, C, and D. So let's go ahead and take a look how it's done. So here I am in my course shell. All the way in the bottom, you have your settings. Let's go ahead and click on that. Scroll all the way down. You need to be on your course details tab. Scroll all the way down and make sure you click on enable course grading scheme. If your school or college has already enabled it for you, then you're good to go. If not, let's go ahead and click set grading scheme. And as you can see, I have A minus, B plus, C's and minuses and pluses. I want to go ahead and edit that. So I'm going to click on this pen tool here. And here I'm going to delete the stuff that I don't want to. So A minus is gone. B plus is gone. So once you have deleted it, you might want to go ahead and change it. So it's from 89.5 because I round it to, and again, this is 79.5. And once you have your grading scheme all set, let's go ahead and click save and you're done. Who does not like colors and emojis in gradebook? So the second tip I want to share with you is how to add emojis to your gradebook. So here I am in my gradebook. As you can see, I have tons of assignments, quizzes, but I would like to focus on my test and it gets really hard for me to look where my test is. But if I scroll down here, as you can see, if I have those little emojis next to my tests or assignments or quizzes, they catch my eye. And because Canvas does not let you change the color of your columns, I think adding emojis is a good touch so you can literally look for that particular quiz, test or assignment. To do that, you simply click on whichever assignment, quiz or test that you want to add your emoji. Let me go ahead and click on my test. And all the way to the right hand corner, you have edit assignment settings. Let me go ahead and click on that as well. And here, if you want to add the emoji in the beginning, let's go ahead and click on the front. But if you want to add emoji in the end, you might have to click all the way in the end. But for now, I'm going to add one right in the beginning and right click. And here you have an option to add an emoji. So let me go ahead and click on emoji. And here I'm going to pick this little metal, metal. Yeah, it's metal. Yeah. And this target. Just keeping it simple, once that's done, scroll all the way down and save it. And there I have my medal and the target. Now let's go ahead and take a look in the grade book. And when I'm scrolling down, I can literally look for my test grades right here. In addition to adding emojis to my gradebook, I want to personalize it by changing the colors of the statuses of my assignment. Let me show you how. So here is my gradebook. As you can see, I've personalized it with the colors that I want. And for you to personalize, all you have to do is click on this view tab right here, scroll all the way down to status. And here you can customize your late missing, submitted, dropped or excused, resubmitted, dropped or excused assignments. Let me go ahead and show you how to change the colors for excused. I'm going to click on these three ellipses and here you have an option to change the code of the color. Now you might ask Bhavani, how do I get the code? To do that, here's the trick. You simply click on C-O-O-L-O-R-S dot co, which it gives you all the color palettes. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Scroll down, see which color you like. For me, let me go ahead and pick let me keep it neutral. I'm going to pick this little brown or earth color. All you have to do is if you like the color that you see, simply click on it and the code is automatically copied. But I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, this one. As you can see, as soon as you click on it, the code automatically gets copied. Let me show you one more time. This green color copied. Now I'm going to go back here, copied. Once you copy it, let's go back to the gradebook 
and you will paste it right after the pound sign or the hashtag sign. So delete it, hashtag, and then there you have it. And you're gonna click apply. I don't think I have any excused assignments. You might not see it. So let me go back here and change the status of my late assignments. I'm gonna keep the same color and apply. And once it's done, as you can see, the color has automatically changed. And again, I'll leave the link in the description box below where you can go and choose from all these colors and personalize your gradebook. The next tip I wanna talk about is how to default your grades. Let's just say you wanna have all zeros in your assignments or all tens or all hundreds or fifties in your assignment. There is a way to go ahead and default your entire grade column. Let me go ahead and show you how. So here I'm in my grade book and my students have just taken a quiz 5.1 to 5.1.3. I do not wanna go into my gradebook and manually plug in all the zeros for students who have not taken it. But there's a better way to do that by simply clicking on these three ellipses. And here is set default grade. So let me click on that. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug in zero for all the students who have not taken the test. And here you have an option to override, but I don't wanna override all the grades that have already been submitted, just zeros for students who have not taken it. So once that's done, I'm gonna click set default grade. And it's gonna tell me that six students course will be updated to zero and that's absolutely okay. And here I have all the zeros for the students who have not taken that quiz. This is just like a reminder for them, hey, you have a zero in your grade book. You might wanna to talk to your instructor, just making sure that they are aware that there was a quiz and they did not take it. The last trick I wanna talk about is how to change or move your columns inside gradebook. So if you've been using Canvas for a while, and if you notice, Canvas has the total grade all the way to the end, and that's not how I like it to be. I want the grade right next to the student name so I can see exactly what my student is getting instead of scrolling all the way to the back. To do that, I simply click on these three ellipses for that particular total grade and move it all the way to the front. And voila, here it is all the way to the front. But just in case if you wanna move other columns around, all you have to do is hold the column and drag it as you can see now that's where it is now let's crawl all the way back here and let's just say i want to move my test one grade i'm just going to move it all the way to the front where is it and again from here i'm going to move it all the way to the front so all you have to do is hold that particular column while pressing your mouse down and move it left or move it right I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learn how to change colors, personalize, move things around in your gradebook. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because you and me both know educators love those simple tips to make their life so much more easier, especially when grading. Did you know we now have a Facebook page where you can connect with me and exchange educational thoughts? I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Canvas, and Technology Playlist. Please make sure you do check them out. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know if you have any more tips and tricks while using the gradebook. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.